Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm quite thankful that the word bigot hasn't been infected or poisoned or, you know, redefined by the whole woke intersectional culture that has backing by academia, unfortunately. Yeah, they haven't changed the word bigot to have to do with power and privilege plus prejudice yet, right? At least to my knowledge. You know, if, if they've already infected that, well, that's pretty sad. But uh, So the word bigot still means someone who is intolerant of those with differing opinions. And I just wanted to remind people that, yes, uh, the word bigot can apply to those on the left. And no, it doesn't matter if you have academia behind you. You can still be a bigot with those kinds of beliefs. I mean, it's almost kind of funny sometimes when I see people essentially arguing, oh, agree with what I'm saying or you're a bigot, without realizing how bigoted what they're saying is. Because they have this, this idea that bigot means some religious uh, fundamentalist, or it means a... a an extreme racist, like a, a KKK member or something. You know, oh, that's what bigotry means. And it's like, no. A bigot is someone who is intolerant of those with differing opinions. You know? Something that's the ultimate form of bigotry, as far as I'm concerned, are people like the, the, the people who are in the black block part of Antifa where you're willing to cause people physical harm for not agreeing with you. Yeah, that's pretty bigoted. Just saying.